In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, Lord have mercy. Have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. the spring grant Lord God that we your servants may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body and through the glorious intercession of blessed Mary ever virgin may we be set free from the present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Please be seated.
A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord came down in the cloud. He spoke with Moses, but took some of the spirit that was on him and put it on the seventy elders. When the spirit came on them, they prophesied, but not again. Two men had stayed back in the camp. One was called Eldad and the other Medad. The Spirit came down on them, though they had not gone to the tent. Their names were enrolled among the rest. These began to prophesy in the camp. The young man ran to tell this to Moses. Look, he said, Eldad and Medad are prophesying in the camp. Then said Joshua, the son of Nun, who had served Moses from his youth, My Lord Moses, stop them. Moses answered him, Are you jealous on my account? If only the whole people of the Lord were prophets, and the Lord gave his spirit to them all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The precepts of the Lord gladden the heart. The precepts of the Lord gladden the heart. The law of the Lord is perfect, it revives the soul. The rule of the Lord is to be trusted. It gives wisdom to the simple. The precepts of the Lord gladden the heart. The fear of the Lord is holy, abiding forever. The decrees of the Lord are truth, and all of them just. The precepts of the Lord gladden the heart. So in them your servant finds instruction. Great reward is in their keeping. But who can detect all his errors? From hidden faults acquit me. The precepts of the Lord gladden the heart. From presumption restrain your servant, and let it not rule me. Then shall I be blameless, clean from grave sin. The precepts of the Lord gladden the heart. A reading from the letter of St. James. An answer for the rich. Start crying. Weep for the miseries that are coming to you. Your wealth is all rotting. Your clothes are all eaten up by moths. All your gold and your silver are corroding away. And the same corrosion will be your own sentence and eat into your body. It was a burning fire that you stored up 
as your treasure for the last days. Laborers mowed your fields and you cheated them. Listen to the wages that you kept back, calling out. Realize that the cries of the reapers have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. On earth, you have had a life of comfort and luxury. In the time of slaughter, you went on eating to your heart's content. It was you who condemned the innocent and killed them. They offered you no resistance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. John said to Jesus, Master, we saw a man who is not one of us casting out devils in your name. And because he was not one of us, we tried to stop him. But Jesus said, you must not stop him. No one who works a miracle in my name is likely to speak evil of me. Anyone who is not against us is for us. If anyone gives you a cup of water to drink just because you belong to Christ, then I tell you solemnly, he will most certainly not lose his reward. But anyone who is an obstacle to bring down one of the, these little ones who have faith would be better thrown into the sea with a great millstone round his neck. And if your hands should cause you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life crippled than to have two hands and go to hell, into the fire that cannot be put out. And if your foot should cause you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life lamb than to have two feet and be thrown into hell. And if your eyes should cause you to sin, tear it out. It is better for you to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into hell where the worms does not die nor the fire goes out. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please remain standing. Please be seated.
my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we celebrate the 75th anniversary of the parish of Our Lady Star of the Sea. In celebrating 75 years, I think most of us were not here when the church was established, including Father Gregory, he is two years younger than this church. <laughs> I was not born as well, and I'm sure all those who are at this altar, they were not born. And the church of Our Lady Star of the Sea had a very humble beginning because this was one of the most Ulu parish in Singapore then. Nobody wanted to come to Sembawang. And that parish was a small parish, but it grew from strength to strength until what you see today. And thanks to Father Gregory, who has this great initiative of uh, extending the church instead of pulling it down, which would be more costly, he could add so many more pews to this church, and the parish has kept on growing under his leadership and also because of the very fact that there are more new housing estates in this area. And in fact, this church will continue to grow for the next years to come because of the new housing estate. Very soon, again, this church will not be enough to accommodate all the parishioners. But truly, it is a great joy to know that your church is growing. But I think it's important as we celebrate the 75th anniversary uh, for us who are parishioners of this church, for those of us who have uh, benefited from the commitments, the sacrifices of our forefathers who built this church, we need to continue to grow this church and to grow this community. And so how can we ensure that this community will not just grow, but a community that will be vibrant, evangelizing, and missionary. We take a lift, a page, from our Blessed Mother, whose feast we celebrate this evening. Our Blessed Mother was a woman who was always outgoing, she was always embracing people. From the moment when she was called to be the mother of the Savior, Mary was a woman that reaches out, always thinking of others rather than herself. When she was told that Elizabeth was uh, pregnant with a child, John the Baptist, her only thought was that she needed help. And she went all the way, out of the way, just to be of assistance to Elizabeth. And we are told that Mary was really a woman always thinking about others before self and never bring glory to herself. She is always selfless in service. Even though when Elizabeth honoured her, she directed all the glory to God, for he has done great things for me, she said. Not because of her merits, but because God has been great and merciful. Another beautiful incident we can learn from Blessed Mother was at the wedding at Cana in Galilee. Mary, in very unassuming way, she helped the wedding couple when they ran out of wine, without telling them, without announcing, oh, how great and how generous, you know, how much initiative I had. I told my son that is why there were wine. In fact, nobody knew where the wine came from. Mary would do everything quietly, humbly, selflessly, without asking for recognition. 
Today, as we celebrate this feast of your parish, Lady Star of the Sea, and also your 75th anniversary, then we are reminded of how this church can grow. Two things are very important if this community were to grow, basing on today's scripture reflections. The church can grow only if the church is inclusive, empowering, and the church is outgoing and welcoming. This is very important because I think the greatest temptation, even within our church, within our parish, within the archdiocese, within parish organization, is this temptation to parochial mindedness we tend to think of our own organization, of our parish, of our groups, rather than to realize that all of us, we work for the same goal, which is to bring the good news of Jesus to all. But many of us, we tend to be protective of our turf. We tend to protect our interests. We are afraid that others will do better than us, that others will compete with us. And so we tend to exclude others, even from our organization, from our ministry, because we want to be the best. We want to be better than anybody else. And this parochial mindedness actually brings much division. Instead of building the community, the community becomes fragmented, divided, because of Competition instead of seeing that all groups, all organizations, all parishes, including the ISIS, we are building one church, one gospel. There should not be competition among us. We should always complete each other. And this is where the Holy Father reminds us. He wants the church to be a synodal church, a church that accompanies everyone priests and laity working together, collaborating together, journeying together in faith. All have different charisms, but all used for the glory of God, for the service of the church, for the service of the community. And it is this kind of church that is welcoming, that is inclusive. That church will grow. Because we become truly members of the church and we have a sense of belonging and we feel welcome. Why do people go to certain churches? I know many of you here, you don't belong to this parish. Some of you live, don't know, uh, miles away. Some of you live at the other end of Singapore and come all the way here. Why? Because of the people. Because you have a community. Because you come here, you feel there is a sense of belonging, that you are loved, that you are wanted, that you are part of this community. And if people don't come to this church, sometimes it is because they don't have a sense of belonging. They feel they are not welcome. And this is very important because today in the first reading from the book of Numbers, we have the situation of Moses He was supposed to empower 70 elders with the Holy Spirit of leadership. And then there were two of these um, men who stayed back. They were not part of the 70 that Moses had chosen. And they too received the Spirit. And so Joshua, his lieutenant, told him, we must stop them from prophesying. And what did Moses say? Are you jealous on my account? More likely, they were jealous on their account. He said, if only the whole people of the Lord were prophets, and the Lord gave his spirit to them all. Moses was not protective. He was not jealous because these people did not receive the Holy Spirit from him. And this is important. At the end of the day, It doesn't matter who brings Jesus to someone. What matters at the end of the day, whether it's me, whether it's you, whether it's him, it doesn't matter. 
So long as someone meets Jesus, someone has encountered Jesus, whoever brings Jesus with that person, God has chosen you. Why should we be jealous? Why is it not me? I should be the one. You don't have to be the one. If you are thinking about yourself, you are serving your interest. You are not serving Christ. Under the pretext of serving Christ, actually you serve yourself. Otherwise, you will rejoice when others are successful. Do you rejoice when other organizations in this parish flourish? Or do you feel jealous? Do you rejoice when other parishes are growing or you feel jealous? Do you rejoice when other dioceses are growing or you feel jealous? If you're jealous, it's because you are insecure. That is a person with a very small, petty mind. In fact, Moses was really, truly a very magnanimous leader. You know, he appointed Aaron and Miriam to assist him in the leadership. And when they spoke against Moses, Moses was silent. He didn't even defend himself. For Moses, he was a reluctant leader. He assumed leadership not because he wanted to make a name for himself, but because God has chosen him and he simply obeyed. It was not about himself. It was about the people of God. And for us, we are serving in the church. We must always have this in mind. For the greater good of the church, for the greater good of the people of God, it's not about me. It's not about my organization, not even my parish or my diocese. It is about the church of Christ. And we have this similar temptation, of course, in today's gospel again. We have the situation when John was not happy because there was a man who was casting out devils in Jesus' name. And John said to Jesus, we must stop him. He is not one of us. He is not a member of our organization, in other words. He doesn't belong to our society. How can he do it? And Jesus, again, magnanimous, he said, you must not stop him. No one who works a miracle in my name is likely to speak evil of me. Anyone who is not against us is for us. Jesus was not narrow-minded. He was inclusive. So long as they are using his name, they are proclaiming the good news, praise God. Why should we be envious when others are doing good? You think all miracles must only come from the Catholic Church? If other religions do good, we should be happy too. How could we? Some people can be so narrow-minded as to say, oh, you know, those religions do good. It's the work of the devil. And we are the work of God. How can we say such a thing? Every good thing comes from the Holy Spirit. We should rejoice even when people are not part of this church, are doing good. We should celebrate because God gives His gifts freely to anyone, even outside the church, not necessarily in the church. And so we should rejoice. And that is what Jesus is trying to tell us. So long as we are doing good, we are bringing God to people, we should be happy. It might not be us sometimes. It doesn't matter. And so being, therefore, being welcoming, being inclusive and empowering others, that is what will make the church grow. When we want to keep the leadership to ourselves, keep the authority to ourselves, when we are afraid to share our authority, share our power with our members, we will kill the organization. Eventually, the organization will die because that leader wants to have power forever and ever unto death. We must be ready to empower others so that they can take over from us. That is a selfless leader. It's about the church. It's about the growth of the church. It's not about me. And St. James also gives us the second uh, important uh, criterion for a church that can grow. It is a church that is hospitable, a church that is caring. St. James said, 
And the answer for the rich, start crying before the miseries that are coming to you. Your wealth is all rotting because you cheated the laborers. You, ne you never paid their wages. And you live a life of comfort and luxury. It's about, again, yourself, your pleasure, your luxury. It's not about people. It's not about the community. And it's important, therefore, uh, St. James, actually, if you read the whole letter, he was telling his community, attacking especially particularly those who were rich, that they were caring only for themselves. They were not caring for the larger group. And so it's important if this church were to grow, we need to share our resources. We need to make this church welcoming. Everybody is welcome. And they, meet, they need to be made to feel they are important no, regardless who they are, poor, rich, young, old, all must be welcome. And if we are welcoming and not too legalistic, some churches are too legalistic. That's why sometimes I think we are too complacent eh, because our churches are packed. If we were in Europe now, on Sunday mass, 10 fellows attending mass. Out of the 10 fellows, six of them are the elderly priests, only four people actually attending that time, anybody comes to church, you are very happy. Even if they come just 10 minutes before at the end of the Mass, you will be happy. Now we have so many people, we can be over-restrictive and lack of compassion. So it's important, therefore, that the church must be hospitable, welcoming, and be sympathetic, be compassionate. It is only in this way. We need to tolerate, we need to... Forgive, we need to be patient with the weaknesses of some of our brothers. And sisters. Not all of us are saints. In fact, none of us here is a saint yet. If not, you should not be here. So we are all different levels of journey to sainthood. There are some who are lapsed Catholic, some are very irritable, some are very you know, nasty with their words, some are very self It's okay. We need to welcome them. When they fall in love with Jesus, then they will be better. Uh, all of us have different stages of spiritual life. We need to tolerate accepting of each other, forgiving of each other, instead of condemning each other, instead of putting each other down. So my dear brothers and sisters, this is what we are called to do. And I pray that this parish will grow from strength to strength. Remember, we need to be inclusive, empowering, and hospitable. Amen. Let us rise for the profession of our faith. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead 
and to the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us now raise our knees to God, our loving Father, confident of Mary, interceding on our behalf. For Pope Francis, Cardinal William Goh, and all bishops, priests, and religious, that through the examples of their spirit-filled lives and teaching, they may continue to lead the church closer to Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord hear, hear us, us we, we pray. pray. For world leaders of nations, that they work together to resolve conflicts and bring justice and equality to the exploited and displaced. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord hear, hear us, us, we pray. For all migrants and refugees seeking freedom, safety, and dignified living, that they be welcomed, integrated, and protected wherever they are. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us, we pray. For the parishioners of Our Lady Star of the Sea, that we may grow as a community ever open to Mary's enduring love and examples of humility, trust, and faith. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord hear us, us, we pray. For our youth in the challenging world, that they be always open to the Holy Spirit to guide their choices and so walk righteously with Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us, we pray. We pause to pray for our own intentions. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us, we pray. Father, grant that we may all grow to know and love you in greater ways under the guidance and mantle of Mary, our beloved mother. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us remain standing until the gifts have been presented to the celebrant, and then we may take our seat.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is through the right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise and bless your glory for your name on the feast of the blessed ever virgin. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal life, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the visual Jews of heaven, and the blessed seraphim, Worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy, these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your eternal Lord and profess your resurrection. What will you call on my name? 
Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension to heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May in the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, at one the peace of salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Pope Francis, and also William, our bishop, and the order of bishop, and all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestowed on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to sing. pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the Lord Jesus Christ, who said the apostles, peace I leave to you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us all share with each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, you him who takes with the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be Our communion antiphon altogether. Blessed is the womb of the Virgin Mary, which bore the Son of the Eternal Father.
Let us rise for the prayer after communion. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may by imitating her serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We will now begin the rosary procession. So please do be seated first, as you will be guided on when to come out of your pews. Please do follow the instructions of the ministers of hospitality wearing their blue sash. Do remember to bring along your rosaries, your battery-operated candles, and do bring along all your possessions if you are following the procession. We will now begin our hymn. Let us all raise our rosaries and our candles each time we sing the Ave Maria. Raise our candles.
In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Take all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery, the Ascension. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, and 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 the power, 万父玛利亚，你充满圣宠，主与你同在，你在妇女中受赞颂，你的亲子耶稣同受赞颂。Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 万父玛利亚，你充满圣宠，主与你同在，你在妇女中受赞颂。你的亲子耶稣也受赞颂。Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 万福玛利亚，你充满圣宠，主与你同在，你在妇女中受赞颂。你的亲子耶稣也受赞颂。Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 万福玛利亚，你充满圣宠，主与你同在，你在妇女中受赞颂，你的亲子耶稣也受赞颂。Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 万福玛利亚，你你充满圣宠，万福玛利亚，你充满圣宠，主与你同在。你在妇女中受赞颂，你的亲子也受赞颂。Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 万福玛利亚，你充满圣宠，主与你同在。你在妇女中受赞颂，你的亲子耶稣也受赞颂。Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. 万福玛利亚，你充满圣宠，主与你同在，你在妇女中受赞颂，你的亲子耶稣也受赞颂。Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 万福玛利亚，你充满圣宠，主与你同在，你在妇女中受赞颂，你的亲子耶稣也受赞颂。Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 万福玛利亚，你充满圣宠，主与你同在，你在妇女中受赞颂，你的亲子耶稣也受赞颂。Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 万福玛利亚，你充满圣宠，主与你同在。你在妇女中受赞颂，你的亲子耶稣也受赞颂。Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 光荣归于父及子及圣神
as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, take all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Buang ho ma li ya, mua bi xia tong jia, zhu e le gai yang neng tang, le wei zhang mui le tai zi ya so, ding wei zhang mui. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Buang ho ma li ya, mua bi xia tong jia, zhu e le gai yang neng tang, Le wei zang mui le tai zi ya so, ding wei zang mui. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Buang ho ma li ya, mua bi xia tong jia, zhu e le gai yang neng tang, le wei zang mui le tai zi ya so, ding wei zang mui. Holy Mary, Buang ho ma li ya, mua bi xia tong jia, zhu e le gai yang neng tang, le wei zang mui le tai zi ya so, ping wei zang mui. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Buang ho ma li ya, mua bi xia tong jia, zhu e le gai yang neng tang, Le wei zang mui le tai zi ya so, ping wei zang mui. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Buang ho ma li ya, mua bi xia tong jia, zhu e le gai yang neng tang, le wei zang mui le tai zi ya so, ping wei zang mui. Buang ho ma li ya, mua bi xia tong jia, zhu e le gai yang neng tang, le wei zang mui le tai zi ya so, ping wei zang mui. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Buang ho ma li ya, mua bi xia tong jia, zhu e le gai yang neng tang, Le wei zang mui le tai zi ya so, ping wei zang mui. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Buang ho ma li ya, mua bi xia tong jia, zhu e le gai yang neng tang, le wei zang mui le tai zi ya so, ping wei zang mui. Holy Mary. Buang ho ma li ya, mua bi xia tong jia, zhu e le gai yang neng tang, le wei zang mui le tai zi ya so, ping wei zang mui. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Yong ying gui hu, kip zi kip xia sing, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. Lord, without end. Amen. O 
O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Take all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of your mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption. Ama namin, sumasalangit ka, sambahin ang ngalan mo, mapasa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para nang nasa langit. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, our trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass against us, us and, and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Abaginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaing lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Abaginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaing lahat at pinagpala naman ng iyong anak na si Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Abagi noong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoon Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod ka ang pinagpala sa babaing lahat, at pinagpala naman ng iyong anak na si Jesus. Holy Mary, Abagi noong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoon Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod ka ang pinagpala sa babaing lahat at pinagpala naman ng iyong anak na si Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Abagi noong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoon Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod ka ang pinagpala sa babaing lahat at pinagpala naman ng iyong anak na si Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Sala Maria, penuh rahmat, Tuhan sertamu, terpujilah engkau di antara wanita, dan terpujilah buah tubuhmu, Yesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Sala Maria, penuh rahmat, Tuhan sertamu, Terpujilah engkau di antara wanita dan terpujilah buah tubuhmu Yesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Salam Maria, penuh rahmat Tuhan sertamu. Terpujilah engkau di antara wanita dan terpujilah buah tubuhmu Yesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Salam Maria, penuh rahmat Tuhan sertamu. Terpujilah engkau di antara wanita, dan terpujilah buah tubuhmu, Yesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Salam Maria, penuh rahmat Tuhan sertamu. Terpujilah engkau di antara wanita, dan terpujilah buah tubuhmu, Yesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Kemuliaan kepada Bapa dan Putra dan Roh Kudus. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation. Binaga tilik ke engal tanda ye, umat peyat tu ye dia na potra perga, umat archi perga, umat terulam minyola gil nerei beri bodo bola, manola gilam nerei beri ga. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Arul Miga Petra Marie Walge, Andavar Umadane, Pengalul Asi Petravar Nire, Umadayatruvaitin Kaniya Yesuvum Asi Petravare. Arul Miga Petra Marie Walge, Andavar Umadane, Pengalul Asi Petravar Nire, Umadayatruvaitin Kaniya Yesuvum Asi Petravare. Arul Miga Petra Marie Walge, Aunt our Umadane, Pengalul Asi Petravar Nire, Umadayatruvaitin Kaniya Yesuvum Asi Petravare. Arul Miga Petra Marie Walge, Aunt our Umadane, Pengalul Asi Petravar Nire, Umadayatruvaitin Kaniya Yesuvum Asi Petravare. Aral Miga Petra Marie Walge, Aunt our Umadane, Pengalul Asi Petravar Nire, Umadaya Thiruvait in Kaniya Yesum Asi Petravare. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Nan Manaranya Marie Me Susti, Kartavangi Od Gude, Strigalil Aganagrike Petavalaguno, Angi Udratin, Falamaya Isho, Anagrike Petavanaguno. Holy Mary. Nan Manaranya Marie Me Susti, Kartavangi Odugude, Strigalil, Anganigrike Petavalaguno, Angi Udratin, Falamaya Isho, Anigrike Petavanaguno, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Nan Manaranya Marie Me Susti, Kartavangi Odugude, Strigalil, Anganigrike Petavalaguno, Angi Udratin, Falamaya Isho, Anigrike Petavanaguno, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Nan Manaranya Marie Me Susti, Kartavangi Odugude, Strigal Ilang and a Greek Petavalaguno, Angi Udratin, Falamaya Isho, and a Greek Petavaraguno. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Nan Manaranya Marie Me Susti, Kartavangi Odugude, Strigal Ilang and a Greek Petavalaguno, Angi Udratin, Falamaya Isho, and a Greek Petavaraguno. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pidavinum putranum, Parshathat Mavinum studi. As it was in the beginning, it is now and ever shall be.
pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, God whose only, only begotten, begotten Son, Son by his life, life death, and, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. life. Grant, Grant, we beseech thee, that, that by meditating on these mysteries, mysteries of the most holy rosary of the, of the Blessed, Blessed Virgin Mary, Mary we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. We will now have the incensing of Our Lady's statue since she has been crowned. <coughs> Join in the hymn, Hail Queen of Heaven. give thanks and praise to our Heavenly Father by a round of applause everyone for giving us our Blessed Mother to be the patroness and protector of our parish. Let us now kneel as we partake of the litany. Mother of 
of our Creator. sins of the world. Spare us, o Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, o Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray together. And we beseech thee, O Lord God, that we, your servants, may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body, and by the intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may be delivered from present sorrow and obtain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. God our Father, you have created us in love and given us life to share this love with you and with one another. In your mercy, you have also given us Mary to be our mother and our guide in life. Her title of Our Lady Star of the Sea is one of the many that have been given to her through the ages. In this, she is imaged as a guiding light that is bright and stable amidst the storms and troubles in the sea of life. Aided by Mary's intercession, we entrust the cares of our families to you. 
May the fruits of the Spirit manifest more in our lives so that we can be a Christ-centered family that loves and serves one another with joy and humility. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. We sing a final hymn to Our Lady before we do the concluding rites. As I kneel before you. Let us now rise for the solemn final blessings. Dear brothers and sisters, please be seated for a while. We will have a short address before the final blessings. Dearest Your Eminence, we thank you so much for coming to celebrate the 75th anniversary of our parish. 75 years of blessing, the milestone of our parish. As you notice, Your Eminence, this year, we ask our youth to carry our mother. From now on, it's our youth because they are mature enough already. So now I would like uh, to invite uh, one of our youth to come to say some word to you, to our church, to our parishioners. A very good evening, Your Eminence, fathers, brothers and sisters in Christ. A very blessed feast day. I am Jordan, and I'm honoured to be given the opportunity to give this short thanksgiving on behalf of our parish on this special occasion. First of all, all glory, praise, and thanks to the Lord for His faithfulness and the graces that He has showered upon our parish community this past 75 years. I would like to also thank Your Eminence for gracing us with Your presence and for celebrating this Mass for us. I would also like to thank all the priests who have made time this evening, especially Father Sean Lim, Father Emmanuel Noel, and Father Valerian Chong, who is unable to join us this evening, for leading us in our spiritual preparation this past three days in our Tridum Masses.
I think I also want to take this time to acknowledge the efforts of the various ministries who have come together to make this Mass a successful one. We have the altar servers, the, the art and deco team, the AV team, the banner volunteers that you have seen, the catechists and the flower girls, the combined choir, the EMs, the HMs, our lectors, the sacristans, and last but not least, our parish pastoral coordinator, Paulus. <laughs> Lastly, to end off, Your Eminence, our parish has prepared a small token of appreciation. Once again, brothers and sisters in Christ, a blessed feast day, and may we continue to be a parish that's inclusive, empowering, and hospitable. Amen. So I take this opportunity to thank all of you for all the services you have given to this parish. Uh, some of you have been here longer, some of you very long, some of you just arrived. <laughs> Regardless, it's important that we all contribute to this building of this community. We thank all the former pastors of this parish. Um, and also, we thank the current pastors as well, uh, Father Richard Ambrose and Father Joe Dinesh, and also Father Gregory, and also those who have been helping in this parish. We are grateful for their leadership. And of course, you all know that uh, Father Greg is leaving this parish and so Father Joe Dinesh as well. And of course, you know, every time when we want to post priests out, you get a lot of letters asking me to let them stay longer and so on. I just want to assure you, you know, who do you think in this diocese would want the best for his priest and for his people? Surely it's me. <laughs> and therefore, and therefore, posting transferring priests is not an easy task. In fact, it took me more than 10 months for this present batch to be transferred. They should be transferred earlier because, uh, you know, Father Greg has overstayed uh, nine years. <laughs> But they had to stay back because I could not get the priest. And we don't have so many priests. And we have to make sure, of course, every parish, they want the best priest. But, you know, we need to look after the whole diocese. So we need to balance our priests in such a way that every parish would have uh, uh, what we call the right mix of priests to care for the larger group. So I'm so sorry we have to transfer them out. If... I don't have to transfer them at all. I'll be so happy, you know. I got less work to do. And so, but what to do? I have to look at the entire parish and I do my best. And I'm very grateful also to Father Greg for these nine years. He has been extremely hardworking, especially the COVID period. He was really, you know, trying to rebuild this church and so on. Yeah, I'm really grateful to you, Father Greg, for the work that you have done. And... Uh, And of course, Father Joe Dinesh as well, although he is not, has not been here for many years and uh, should stay longer, but what to do, la, huh? what to do. Huh? But uh, yeah, I'm sure you're going to miss him. He's a very talented, very energetic, very passionate, uh, uh, very what we call a lot of uh, pastoral zeal, um, being still young and handsome. But even though uh, 73, also very zealous as well. Huh? So, yeah, and I really want to thank them and I want to thank them for their generosity because when I ask them, they say, Bishop, you decide, we will obey. So, with this kind of priest, uh, transfer is much easier. Yeah. 
give me less headache, you know. So they spared me the headache and they were very cooperative when I told them, you know, we have to make these movements always for the greater good of the diocese. So, so once again, uh, thank you, Father Joe. Uh, wait, Jeffrey Dujin Dinesh? Oh, there. Yeah, and Father Greg, thank you so much. So you pray for them and uh, welcome the new leadership as well. Every priest is different. Uh, one thing I want to tell you, remind you, one thing you must never forget. Don't compare priest. <laughs> Don't compare parish priest. Every parish priest has his own talents, has his own ways of doing things. So we just dance around the parish priest, okay. But don't compare, don't say, you know the other... No, no. Every parish is unique. Don't create jealousy and don't create uh, division. We open ourselves to accept whatever the priest can offer to you. So thank you, one and all. Thank you so much. Oh, by, by the way, I post him to secret because he still got two more years before retirement at 75. And he said yes or so, so thank you, Father Greg. And he said he wants to go to Sacred Heart because he said, actually I asked him to go to a bigger parish, but he said, no, 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 no. I'm 73 and I have served all, I have served Mary, OPS, I've served here. I want now to be close to the heart of Jesus. Huh? So from the heart of Mary to the heart of Jesus. I say, okay. Huh? I said, uh, your will be done. Huh? Your will be done. Okay, so we praise and thank them. Let us pray. Let us stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, will in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her, through whom we have been found worthy to receive the author of life. May you who have devoutly gathered on this day carry away with the gifts of the spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your love. Thanks be to God. Let us sing our hymn, Dear Lady Star of the Sea, our very own parish hymn, before we do a set of photograph taking with His Eminence and with all the clergy.
May I invite the flower girls and their mentors to please come out and take a picture with his eminence. The rest of us may be seated. After the flower girls and their mentors have taken the picture, the next group up will be the altar servers. Altar servers, please ready yourselves. After the altar servers have taken their picture, we invite the banner procession members. Banner procession members after the altar servers. Banner statue, uh, banner procession members, as well as the statue helpers, please ready yourselves to take the picture after the altar servers. Thank you, servers, banner procession members, and those who helped to carry the statue of Our Lady, please approach His Eminence. After this group, lectors, sacristans, and EMs, please ready yourselves. I repeat, after this group, lectors, sacristans on duty, as well as the EMs, the ministers of Holy Communion, please ready yourselves. who help to carry the statue of Our Lady. It's your turn. EMs, lectors and sacristans, it is your turn now. After this group, it is all the HMs. All the HMs, please get ready. White sash done, blue sash, your turn. After the HMs have taken their photograph, the next group will invite the Art and Decor Ministry members. 
Art and Decor Ministry members, please come forward and be ready after this group of HMs have taken their photo. Thank you. Art and Decor Ministry members, as well as the first aiders, please do approach His Eminence now. I repeat, Art and Decor Ministry members, as well as the first aiders on duty, it is your turn now. And the group after this is the last group that will take the photograph with His Eminence, which is the choir members as well as the AV team. Choir members and AV team, please put your files down and proceed up with straight collars and combed back hair. Choir members, including the organist. And AV members. Members in the AV ministry. Yeah. 